a message from the sponsor of this program, which is Pendragon Apothecary. It's the forward-leaning wellness shop here in Ocean Springs. Uh, that's the sponsor of the show. It's pendragonapothecary.com if you would like to look at our products online. What do we have? Well, we've got, I would like to say it's a forward-leaning wellness shop. It's kind of a biohacking center in a way. And so that's kind of what we're becoming, I think, because really the, the old uh, tinctures and the old herbal medicines, things that have been around, you know, in the folk medicine cabinet forever, like elderberry uh, tincture and things like that, well, they're finding out now that these things really do help people. They, they, they have a way of blocking the, uh, the virus from replicating, for example, elderberry. And maybe that's you know, why it, it became a folk remedy in the first place. It actually worked to help people from getting sick or helping you to get better quicker. Anyway, but it's, it's much more than just elderberry. Although elderberry is pretty profound, really, I think, and it grows locally. We've got it. We've got locally based, organically grown, wildcrafted, organic uh, uh, elderberry uh, products. Uh, but we've also got all of the seven sacred mushrooms, which they have impacted uh, people's health for thousands of years. A Vedic medicine in India, and also Chinese medicine. They've also, they've, they've all, they've been using medicinal mushrooms. Uh, in, in the wellness world forever, you know, forever, many, many generations, thousands of years, in fact. But in the Western world, it's been kind of a slow go, but people were finding out about it, like reishi powder or lion's mane, which they're discovering and have discovered, and people over in that part of the world have known for a long time, it helps with cognitive issues. It's, uh, it, ha it sort of gets the brain uh, percolating again, you know. So these are the types of products we have. We've got other We've got blue lotus tea, which is the flower of the blue lotus plant. We've, we've got blue lotus light red wine, which is an infusion of the blue lotus and light red wine. The Egyptians used that thousands and thousands of years ago in spiritual connectivity. Uh, so meditation, prayerful meditation, and also relaxation, whatever. If you Google it, you find blue lotus was really totally infused in, into the ancient Egyptian culture. Uh, it's in the hieroglyphics. There will be uh, people, you know, embracing each other with the blue lotus next to them. You know, lots of different depictions of blue lotus ingrained in the ancient Egyptian culture.